Hey everyone, Christian here, and I'm at the North Beach at Manasota, on Manasota Key, which is in Englewood, Florida. And I don't come here very often during the day, but so I figured I'd take this opportunity to show you guys um, and gals uh, some of the plantings that are here, but specifically the native plantings that uh, are kind of rare, and that's uh, this palm here, Pseudophoenix sargentii. This palm is actually native to uh, Elliott Key, and which is uh, just south of Key Biscayne. Uh, in Dade County and uh, a lot of the Northern Caribbean. Now, this is planted quite a bit in uh, collector's gardens and uh, in medians uh, in some nicer areas uh, around uh, Central and South Florida. But um, here they just put it along the beach and uh, it, it, you know, these do look very nice when they're uh, healthy, but they're actually going through a bit of a problem which hasn't seemed to have been uh, taken care of. And that is called, I call it pseudo phoenix decline, or people will call it like the pink or black rot. Um, it isn't the same pink rot that people in, in California will experience, but it has similar aspects to it. It's a viral issue that affects the crown here. You can see, um, actually this, is ded this palm was dedicated to someone that was kind of nice. I mean, I would do that sometime if I had a, a loved one that I had lost, but... Uh, I hope this one also doesn't get lost because you can see here, it was these were all planted about five or six years ago, and when it was planted, it was quite healthy, and then it started going downhill here. You can see the rings start to get a lot closer, and then you can see the crown isn't quite green. It has this blackish color with the spots on it, and sometimes it'll ooze, kind of like like you know it's infected with something, and it is. <clears throat> and um, the other palm, this is actually the best looking of them all. The other ones here, that just looks like a, almost like a bottle. And it's not uh, the crowns is it's slowly dying off and then here this is probably the weirdest looking one of them all and over here you can see they all kind of have this blackish color to the crown and that's not typical pseudo Phoenix um, they don't have a, I mean they have some darker color I like to contrast the white color you'll normally see on a pseudo Phoenix crown and these leaves are looking pretty they're looking not bad I mean there's some you can see some uh, spotting some fungal spotting in on the tips and some of that could be salt related, but these are pretty cold. I mean, sorry, pretty salt tolerant. So this first, this sort of decline came about, I want to say about uh, 10 or 11 years ago. And I, no one really knew what was going on. People were asking me, hey, Christian, you know, like what is happening to the crown of my pseudo phoenix to my, or they'll call it, you know, they'll call it cherry palm, which is a common name for pseudo phoenix sargentii. And uh, I didn't know what was going on, but it looked like there was some kind of rot, and it was slow, which is usually a sign of like a viral infection. Uh, usually fungal stuff will kind of just take out a, a crown, especially when it's on the crown. So it seems that the plant has the ability to take out some of this, or to fight it to some extent. Um, there are there are uh, antifungal, antiviral sprays you can use. Uh, one of the antifungals would be... Uh, Merit, I believe, is one of them that they were using. But oddly enough, and after a few years of like kind of doing some research on it and talking to some people that were trying to fight it, because I wasn't really, I didn't really have any of these plants to fight uh, it with. Uh, some researchers at Montgomery actually found out that using um, seawater and pouring it into the crown, so you pour it like directly into the middle and let it kind of funnel through, it will, it'll kind of just go through and kind of eventually just kind of come out the edge of that boot. And uh, or you know it seep in would actually would cause a in, cause an environment that would n not allow for the host or the parasite or uh, the infection to continue, and uh, it it would take a long time. But they would do it like twice a week, I think, just douse the crown with salt water, which I've never really seen done in a palm. But I guess you know they try all these interesting things at you know research stations. And Montgomery is a you know a research center. Um, besides being a botanical garden, which is really neat. And that's why I think, you know, it's important to have botanical gardens also have a scientific aspect to them besides just a display aspect and an administrative aspect. So uh, Montgomery really does go above and beyond to do those sorts of things. And sorry if it's kind of windy out here. It's just, you can see the thunderstorms are coming. And, um, you know, I, I would hope that the, the county would do something to... Uh, at least try and you know have someone come over take a look at it. I'm not. I mean, I personally don't think it's my place to pour salt water into the crowns of these palms. I mean, I would do it if 
if I don't think it would, I, I'm not really sure. I mean, I, I think that someone should come out here and take a look at them. And I don't think anyone really notices or notices they're even in a, in a decline. So people will actually probably will think that these were bottle palms when they're not and won't think much of it. And maybe a lot of people that take care of this landscaping, which is probably contracted out, probably won't notice a whole lot going on. I mean, obviously there's something wrong with this palm. If you can't notice that, then you definitely shouldn't be in the landscaping business. But uh, you can see these, a typical pseudo phoenix leaf is gonna be dark green and waxy like this, right? So these leaves that are coming out this light green color, you know, they're definitely having nutritional deficiency and a mechanical one. You can see there's a lot more plumose and they're a lot more stunted and they have more of a color of a, uh, what I would call like a Gaussian leaf. And uh, this, you know, this kind of dark forest green is, you know, more typical of the proper, the proper color for the plant, uh, for the palm. So, um, I don't know what's going to happen with these. They've been here for a long time. I would, I would like for them not to, not to die. Maybe I need to come out here with a, bu a bucket of salt water and bring it out for the beach and pour it on there. Maybe it's too late for a few of these. I believe that one is probably irreconcilable but, or irreparable. But, um, you know, let's go take a look at these two over here. You can see you can grill over here. Now, this one's probably the least affected. That one's definitely, you can see the pinkish color there, spotting. And you can see this boot had just come off. And so... That's re that's really like what that that virus that rot looks like, um, and then you can see it up into the crown. You can see it actually tried to flower. It doesn't look like it produced any good seed, but this is a, this is actually a relatively healthy Sargentii, other than the rot. It looks pretty typical. So hopefully they can get them back to this status, with minus the rot versus this status here, which is pretty sad. So anyway, that's about it. I just wanted to show everyone who watches the vlog you know that a lot of these county parks they they really do a good job of planting out uh florida natives but the maintenance is important as well and hopefully they will get to uh you know being able to fix the issue sorry again, again the wind is blowing about 30 miles an hour so um so we'll see what happens. I'll do a little update on this. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel and want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification. It'll give you an idea when I go live, when I put up a new video. If you have any questions about Pseudophoenix or Gentii and it's this sort of decline that goes on with it, leave a comment down below and I will get to you guys and gals as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.